is a generalized uh, picture of a gene that's the maximize preview. So this is a generalized gene structure and these are the, the blue one are the prongs and the brown are the microns and this red line it represents the promoter. The promoter always lies upstream of the start of the gene, upstream of the five prime so here we go now. This is let's this is the Ensemble Genome Browser. How you can go to Ensemble Genome Browser? Just write in the Google Ensemble Genome Browser, and in the Google you will get. Okay, it's not Google. It's Yahoo, but anyway, that's the way. So this is the ensemble genome browser. You should better use the Google. Google is most most updated and find. And here in the search option, let's say uh, our gene of interest is fermitin. Fermitin. So we go here with the gene and our uh, species, uh, let's say we want human, so we go for the human here, uh, you can find it like this, control F and put here and this is human and now uh, this is our gene, this firm T2, let's say we go for it, firm T2 is fermitin 2 and now this is the uh, gene, this is all about, this is similar, something similar to what you saw in the NCBI browser, in NCBI browser uh, there was a one master page which was telling many things about the gene, this is the similar browser. Now, we want to extract the sequence of the promoter also for that you, you, this is in, in the left column so let me make it a little bit bigger for you so in the left most column in this you click on the sequence in the sequence now you have now this is uh, your gene of interest sequence. This is the first axon. Keep in mind uh, that this uh, uh, you your promoter sequence is almost upstream of the first axon. These red letters are the first axon, which I have already shown you in another video that how you can define the axons and introns by using the enzyme browser. You should also watch that video. Anyway. Now this is uh, uh, the uh, gene and this upstream of this uh, region is the uh, exon region, or sorry promoter. So we now configure this page. So five prime end flanking sequence that is up. So we now configure this page. In the five prime flanking sequence, Instead of 600 base pair, we will give it to 1000. Reason is that because promoter sequence is of almost uh, 1000 to 1200 base pairs, out of which 1000 base pair is the part that is upstream of the 5 prime end of a gene. So that is why we put it 1000 base pair. So it's like 1000 base pair. Um, now, so you can see now the 
we have a relatively bigger sequence of the motor. So this is the thousand base pair per motor. And when we are selecting the thousand uh, uh, per motor sequence, we will keep it like that. Uh, from here to here, uh, this is thousand base pair, and uh, we make it to twelve hundred base pair so that 1000 base pairs upstream of the G in and 200 base pair downstream of the prime 5 prime end. so that will be around uh, uh, to uh, 1200 base pairs per motor sequence so let's we copy it and we uh, paste it on the word and that will be 1200 base pair promoter sequence. In this way, you will extract the promoter sequence of a single gene or of a gene of shared trust by using an example. Thank you very much.